right guys, I'm putting on this Gamagatsu weighted hook. I don't like these things because I think that they can cause you to miss strikes because you have to bury the tip of the hook just a little bit when you're fishing in a spot that's got grass like I like where I'm at now. But there's no other way to present a slow swim bait right here in the dead of winter to these big trout without working it slow on the bottom. So I've got, I picked up a pack of these pearl blue glimmer five inch diesel minnows. I mean, if that's not a trout snack right there, I don't know what is. So I've taken about 20 cast with the 808 mirror lure and I hadn't had a strike yet. So I'm gonna try this setup right here and I'll show you how to rig it real quick if you haven't ever used these. So the light side is always on the bottom of these swim baits, tail pointed down like that. And then, you know, you guys know you got to, first of all, you got to make a hole in this thing for the tip of this. And you do that with the pointed part, just like that. All right, then you stick the, the eye through that hole, like that. And then you just kind of want to measure like that where you need to make your, where you want to pierce the minnow at. These diesel minnows are vented on the bottom so it makes it a little bit easier. And actually, I tell you what, if that'll ride just like that, that'll be nice. So I don't have to bury the tip. It kind of rides in that back fin. And when the strike occurs, that hook is exposed. But what I still don't like is that's a very limited portion of hook right there to hook the fish with. And I don't like that. But I'm going to try it. I'm more curious to see if it'll stay debris free in this area where I'm fishing. It's a good daggone looking bait, I know that. I'm not gonna bother with a loop knot on this because the bait is so big and I'm just slow bouncing it on the bottom. It's not like I'm swimming it and I really need the presentation and the water's dirty. I picked this thing up the other day. It's the boomerang tool. And I like it a lot. Cuts braid, cuts mono, real compact. And it's got this clip on deal. So you can clip it onto something and just carry it with you like that. And it extends so you can keep it on your console, keep it on your jacket, whatever. All right, man, I got that thing rigged up and I gotta say that thing looks nice. I'm excited to throw it more excited than I was. Let's see how fast, let's see how fast it sinks. Oh yeah, the, gosh, that's perfect. That is perfect. And see, when I pull it up, it flutters. See how fluttery it is? Pull it up, it flutters, and then it sinks down. And the beautiful thing about these Z-Mans is that when it hits the bottom, the tail stays up because they float. All right, let's see what I can do with this. I just felt it bounce over a stick. I'm right on the bottom and just giving it a twitch twitch. Pretty slow. That's a good sign. All right, so that held together really well. No debris, just a little bit there around the eye. I mean, whew, that's, that's pretty nice. I like that a lot. You can throw it a mile because it's heavy. I'm fishing it in a little bit deeper water because it got warm today and got up to 58 today. So I'm fishing it in that six foot water. Down on the bottom, it's darker. There's a lot of mullet 
coming through here. I don't know if you've seen any jump, but they're, the mullet coming through here are about six, six inches, about the same size as this swim bait. So maybe, I guess this thing would kind of look like a wounded mullet, a wounded menhaden on the bottom. Uh, maybe, maybe feeding on the bottom. I don't know, you know, who knows what trout think. All right, that was either a piece of debris or... Guys, I'm on. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Golly, how about that? How about that? All right. Oh, man, he is head shaking bad. He is head shaking bad. <laughs> It's a good, it's a good trout. Okay, get me in here. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. Yeah, that's what's up. Guys, I tell you what, how awesome is that? Man, that's a nice trout. Don't, don't ever be afraid to try something new. I have never thrown this diesel minnow before, this five inch diesel minnow, and look what it did today. I knew those trout were in here. I casted that. I casted that. Uh, it, golly, that's a huge trout. Jeez, oh flip. <sighs> Look, he inhaled that thing, y'all. And I felt him hit it. And then he came back and grabbed it again. I mean, this is the first. That was the. Was that my? That was my second cast on this thing. Look at that. That is a bad dude right there. And so is this. Whew. I don't have any way of measuring this fish, but man, he's a stud, y'all. He's a stud. Dang. Look at that. Whew. Big bait, big fish. All right. I'm gonna try to get just a rod measurement on this dude. There he goes. All right, good. Uh, more please. Dude, that is a bad minnow right there, boys. Look at that. Man, that is a bad dude.